Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Justin. We just checked out M. Night Shyamalan's sequel to the Unbreakable series and Split. Yes. Glass. Glass. Not to be confused with a bottle. No. Glass. Yes. With uh, a cup <laughs> of glass. Is it any good? We'll let you know right after this. So M. Night Shyamalan's Glass, this is the sequel to Unbreakable, also the sequel to Split. He's created his own Marvel Universe with his superhero genre. He has. A little bit, not as big. I'm still hoping for Haley Joel Osment to show up in this. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, things happen. Yeah. This so, is a non-spoiler review, so, like, well, I'm not going to say that he doesn't show up. Oh, yeah, he could. He could. Probably won't. Don't. He doesn't. Probably won't. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it all comes down to, what's this movie about? We're basically seeing uh, David Dunn, Mr. Glass, and mm. James McAvoy's 30 different or 27 different split Yeah, I like the credits where he was just like, the cast. Yeah. And then it was everyone else That's playing right. one yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that was actually the first um, time I've seen something like that happen. It was very cool. Yeah. Um, but basically, uh, David Dunn's on the lookout for for Kevin. It's Kevin Cum or Crispin Crum? What's his original name? Kevin, Kevin Crum. Crum. Yeah, Kevin Crum. Yeah. He's on the lookout for Kevin Crum or the split personality, the, the beast. Yeah. He's trying to find him across uh, Philadelphia and he uh, locates him and then things happen. They end up in a mental institution with Mr. Glass and Sarah Paulson's character trying to figure out are they real superheroes or are they just thinking they are make-believe and just thinking their superhero powers are kind of a bit, you know, yeah, they're, they're basically ordinary, but not superhero-ish. Yeah, they're, they're they're trying to take the 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 big superhero kind of capabilities and and really science them down, yeah. which is uh, yeah, for a movie that I wanted to see powers, um, I saw powers, but I didn't like that how it was uh, like sciencey too much, like too much explanation. Yeah, I think for me this really nails that three arc storyline and each arc is def like definitely different the yeah. first arc is set in Pennsylvania, uh, Pennsylvania. it's set in Philadelphia yeah. and it's the, it's the unbreakable movie that you wanted the unbreakable sequel you wanted to see yeah um, and David Dunn's you know walking around the city trying to be the superhero he's actively he's doing toes uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's actively doing stuff which from the first movie he was very kind of against doing that kind that's of right, stuff that's right. and from the trailers it wasn't really completely certain that that's the life that he actually pursued and that's we it. actually find out that he actually kind of does yeah and and, and that's the mood, the part of the movie that I really enjoyed and then yeah. the second act it flips into the mental institution and I don't want to tell you what happens in the third act because no. that would be spoiler heaven yeah. but by the trailer you know what the second act's going to be and the first act is where I was at the first act I loved I really enjoyed 99% of it um, I really liked the, the character story of David Dunn and where he had been these last 19 years that we haven't seen him, which is crazy to think yeah. about that, that um, Unbreakable came out 19 years ago. I was yeah. just a little bub. Yeah, and we both was. Dude. We, well, we weren't that little. Yeah, no, I was probably like five, nine, I reckon, when I was that big. Yeah, probably. My growth spurt was ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> point being is that part of the movie for me was the story that I wanted to see. And I think the people that wanted to see an Unbreakable sequel, mm -hmm. that's the stuff they're going to really love. The first 30 to 40 minutes of the film is, is really chock-a-block of action, really superhero story stuff. And then we hit the mental institution. And that's for where, for me, it completely dropped off and I just wasn't interested. And I think... That all comes down to, unfortunately, I'm really sorry, but Sarah Paulson. Yeah. I don't like her. I don't know why. Not a fan? Just, just something about her. See, I don't yeah, like her. Yeah, there's definitely something about her that I don't like that I get used to when I'm watching American Horror Story because yeah. she's in that all the time. That's why I stopped liking that show. Yeah? Because it was fine for the first season. She wasn't that big of an act, like character in it. And then the second season comes along, she's the main character. Yeah. And that's where I lost it. I was like, ah, I'm not really into this anymore. It's and I hard. figured it was because of Sarah Paulson. And yeah. here it is again, and I'm very cool. I yeah. don't know what it is, but I'm sorry. No, exactly. It's hard when you're trying to watch a movie. Like, I didn't, I'm didn't. i okay with her. Mm -hmm. A lot more okay with her than it seems to be that you are. It but it, it really does hurt when you're watching a film and you're trying to enjoy it but then it's just that thing that just keeps like tapping yeah. you on the back of the neck going no i don't i don't like it this. was also her storyline though i just wasn't interested in it because the, the first the first movie unbreakable was all about um david dunn learning that he was a superhero it was it was mr glass saying look you you're not crazy mm. everything you've done in your life leads up to this moment learning that you are a superhero yeah. This movie flips that and says you're not a superhero. Yeah. And for me, that was kind of like, well, you, 
We set up the first movie learning that we are. Why are we flipping that back? We, we, like he's already been, it's already been proven to him that he is. Yeah. This, this sequence of you know, using science against him was um, Robin Wright's character in that film. She was always saying, look, yeah. you're not a superhero. You look, you, you, know, you, you drowned. All these different things happened. And his son, um, Spencer... Tree Green, Clark. Spencer Tree Clark not to be forgotten, uh, <laughs> was always saying that you are. And so I feel like that movie's already happened. I don't need to see it again. And that's what this second act of this film was for me. A, yeah. a, a rehash of Unbreakable that just wasn't necessary. And I don't know if that was because M. Night Shyamalan thought it's been 19 years and this new audience needs to understand this part of it, yeah. or if that was his whole storyline. But, sorry, go yeah. on. What do you think? Well, I, I really liked the film. Uh, as a whole, I think I liked it a lot. Um, I loved it. Yep. Honestly. Yep. Uh, the, the 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 look of it is just like I, I go on about in all my reviews where I love the look of these films, but this one, the cinematography, is so precise. Yep. And all of his films, I love from even un, in Unbreakable when like he's just on the uh, on the train and the camera t- keeps going yeah. past that. Yeah. He's an incredible the, the chair. No, honestly, he has this visual eye. And this uh, storytelling capability that I love. Yep. And this one, this movie is exactly the kind of film that it is a true M. Night Shyamalan film. That's right. Um, and we got story to- wise, yep. story wise, I, I thought it was great. I wasn't a fan of how it was scienced down yep. and that they were kind of being like downtrodden to be like, no, you aren't superheroes, but we know that they are. Yeah. We, we there, there are sequences, there are scenes in the film where they're doubting certain things and questioning certain things, but we've seen it before in Split, in Unbreakable, so why tell us that we're wrong? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was the only downside that I saw for the film. Um, I do like how it was like a really mini... Um, uh, unbreakable sequel at the start yep. um, trying to find um, uh, the bad guys and the yeah and yeah I just I, I thought it was really cool I felt the uh, the thing that annoyed me though is the ending I was expecting something to happen and it didn't happen so I was like well when is it going to end <laughs> yeah. uh, when, what, what's actually happening yeah. and then when the ending finished I was like okay regroup what is this movie actually about and yeah we'll yeah. definitely talk about that in another video I think the ending of this movie I'm, I don't, we don't want to spoil it but I think it's going to it's definitely going to leave uh, you know a massive divide like Moses is stepping into the film industry and just saying I'm parting the seas yep. you guys are going to love it or you guys are going to hate it I think for me I hated it yeah. Um, it definitely wasn't going the way I wanted it to and, 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 and some people are going to love it some people aren't, aren't going to like it I'm definitely on the side of not liking it um, but as I said the first act of the film fantastic loved every minute of it M. Night yep. Shyamalan is at his best um, his direction yeah. his camera work his filmmaking just in general the acting he got from Bruce Willis was yeah. insane considering that we know what he's been like recently I mean Eli Roth didn't even get the best of him with Death Wish we haven't seen the best of him probably since Unbreakable, maybe, yeah. or uh, even, even uh, what was that time traveling one? Um, Joseph Gordon uh, Levitt. Oh, Looper. Looper. Looper with your mate Ryan Johnson. Johnson. That's it, my mate Ryan Johnson, the yeah. guy. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so all in all, I think it was an extremely competent, very engaging film that I can't wait to see again. Um, especially because I want to think about the things and the details that I know now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the, the whole reason why I kind of like spoilers. It's the whole reason why I said kind of. I'd pass. But basically, I'd pass. I'd pass. <laughs> but basically I, I like knowing the, the story and the, the world and how it's going to work. And now I'd like to go back and see it again and again and really nut out the, the, the details of this world and the details of these characters and, and the details of Sam Jackson, Mr. Glasses, uh, role in the entire film because so, what was interesting is that this film is called Glass hmm. why didn't they call it something else like they had Unbreakable you had uh, Split which isn't really a, it could have been Shatter hmm. it could have been Unbreakable Shatter and then Glass so or Glass puns but why they called it Glass when and I'm not going to tell you if he is the main character or not but 
there's three characters in this I think film. It's safe to say, I think you can say that. He's not the yeah. main character, right? I would no, say he's that, not, that, that's that the, the beast is, and yeah. and and I mean, that's that's of course because Split was the latest movie, so it had yeah. to be based off him. But uh, but we wanted it to be about David Dunn. Yeah, yeah, I did. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So out of five, what do you give it? Uh, honestly, I'd give it four Shyamalans out of five. <laughs> four Shyamalans. Four Shyamalans okay. out of five. All right. Well, look, yeah, for me, um, I love the first act. The second act is where you lost me a little bit. It was still good, but it wasn't fantastic. Um, I really wanted to see a, an unbreakable sequel, not really a split sequel. Mm-hmm. And the addition of Sarah Paulson for me was a massive letdown on the uh, story side of things because I didn't enjoy her character and also don't enjoy Sarah Paulson. So... For me, that that sort of film Sarah. dripped a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, all in all, I still think it's worthwhile seeing in the cinema because this idea of making a movie 19 years later and seeing how it all plays out is very, very fun and yeah. really interesting. And M. Night Shyamalan, as I said, is always he's back at his game and he knows what he's doing. He's grading behind the camera, especially in thrillers, and especially with thrillers with nice endings and different things that happen yeah, yeah. and that's where he's we love to. the twist ending yeah, kind of, of thing and there is a twist ending in this so i'm not going to say what it is yeah, yeah but there's always a twist and they, all of his good movies have a twist especially because we expect it yeah and when they happen awesome so you gave it four and four shamalans out of five i'm going to give it three david duns <laughs> out of five five <laughs> Uh, So I'm right. I'm Justin. And until next time, we'll catch you nerds. At the movies. At the movies.